Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm going to be playing an urban world, uh, just trying to get as many countries right in a row as I can. Um, this will be one of the first videos on my channel of this sort, um, but this is something I've been doing for a couple of weeks now um, on GeoGuessr. And so, without further ado, I guess, let's go ahead and start a new game. Alright, right off the bat, we see an American truck. Uh, this looks like Spanish writing, potentially Portuguese, but I think, it, I think it's Spanish. That looks like a Ford truck as well. Um, so, definitely... North American, it looks like. So I'm thinking we're in Mexico. Um, yeah, they've got the regular, like, squared license plates rather than the elongated ones. Um, but we gotta keep going. Gotta keep looking around. Doesn't really help. Let's see. That family looks fairly Hispanic or, or Latino or I'm not sure what the correct term uh, would be. So my apologies. Um, I, I think Hispanic, right? I I don't know. I I'm not sure. Uh, this definitely looks Spanish. I'm almost positive that it is Spanish uh, and not Portuguese. Um, so this could be Mexico, it could also potentially be Guatemala, um, but there is just not a whole hell of a lot to go on here, but I'm going to go ahead and, well, that's a Chevy truck. I, I think we're in Mexico. I am going to take a stab at this and say that we are in Mexico. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put us in Guadalajara. I have no idea, but... Oh, wow. Holy crap. That. <laughs> that is insane. Um, 5.2 miles. That's crazy. I can't believe I got it that close. Wow. Um, even if this game goes south, uh, this is definitely going on the channel. Um, even if this is the only thing I get right, this is this is worth going on YouTube by itself. That was crazy. I cannot believe I got it that close. All right. So... English speaking, mountains, this looks like we could be in Utah. I'm not sure what that license plate is, but it's definitely a, uh, it's definitely a state that makes you put license plates on the front of the car too. I'm not sure if Utah does that. Now that looks like a Pennsylvania plate, but I think Pennsylvania's have blue on the bottom and yellow at the top rather than the way that looks. Um, so I definitely think we're in the United States. Um, I would be, no, Yukon, that is Canada. We might be in Canada. Um, in the Yukon territory, that's super far north, but let's go ahead and have a look. Let's see. The Yukon's up here, right? Yeah. Okay. So definitely some mountains up there in the Yukon. Um, but we could also be in Alaska. Alaska, I don't think... Canada makes you put plates on both sides of the car, period, I think. Oh, that's an American flag right there. That is an American flag. We are in Alaska. I think we're in Alaska. No, we were in the Yukon. 
Somebody is flying an American flag in Canada. Wow. Well done to the mapper um, for throwing throwing me off. Um, we were in Dawson, Yukon Territory. Oh, there's Klondike. Okay. Okay. That's all right. I... That was an American flag, man. That... Oh, they got me. They got me. Let's try it again. I, I thought for sure that was the Yukon when I saw that. And then I saw that stupid American flag. Oi. Okay. Alright, so this looks... This looks kind of European. Does, does that say fry? It does. That says to me that we are in Germany. Alliance, that is a German company. I mean, we gotta be careful that we're not in, like, one of the border countries that also speaks German, but definitely believe we are in Germany. Stralen Weissesana. Stuttgart. Perfect. We are in Stuttgart. Four hundred eighty nine meters. We are <laughs> we are a few football fields away. That even for knowing what town we're in, that was a pretty nice guess. Okay, so we're back at one. Okay, that looks like it could potentially be Portuguese. Uh, but maybe Spanish as well. Driving on the right side of the road. Um, oh, those characters, those are Asian. Okay, so, oh, the top of this sign has those too. I just, I thought they were just like numbers, like num that looks like potentially number five. Okay, so we are in Asia somewhere, but we are in Asia somewhere that uses um, the... Uh, the alphabet. I'm not sure. Uh, I forget what it's what it's actually called, but like the English alphabet. Oh dear. Okay. There's got to be some clues here. It's hilly, but not terribly mountainous. Looks a little industrial. Definitely with the construction. All right. Let's see. We're zooming out of the map. Um. Oh, dear me. Okay. That looks like our best clue right now. And I I want to say that that looks Chinese. Maybe we're in China. Crosswalk signs. There's not a whole lot to go on in this particular location. I'm just going to take a stab at it. I'm going to say we're in China. And... I'm going to say we're about here. Okay, so we were in China. Uh, we were in Guangzhou. No, sorry, Macau. Um, I guess that's like a, I guess it's like a suburb of Guangzhou. Um, okay. Well, we were in the right country. That's two in a row. Let's keep going. Okay. What does that sign say? 
That looks like we are in Quebec with the the blue with the like Florida Lee thing. Um, plates def plates are definitely on the front of the car too, which would also signify Canada. Uh, that's something that they do, but this just does not look Canadian. Okay, here we go. Here's some more signs here. This just doesn't look Canadian, but but they're using the dollar sign, so that also is good. Hamilton, okay, one south to Hamilton, so. Hamilton's about here. So. Where's one? North Shore. Okay, well, that definitely, is, those signs are in English, so I don't think we're in Quebec. Um, because they would say Nord and Sud. That also doesn't make me think that we're in Canada, though, because no, most of their signs are in both. In the English-speaking parts of Canada, they're in both. North, Nord, Sud, South. Wait, does that say .nz? Are we in New Zealand? I don't know what currency New Zealand uses, though. I don't know. Is there a is there a Hamilton? Let's see, shit. Okay, there is a Hamilton. And it is number one. We are in New Zealand. We are in New Zealand. And I, for, for shits and gigs, I want to see potentially where we are. One north. And we're at something west. Maybe 23. North to North Shore. And Wangarl. I don't know. We are in New Zealand somewhere. And we are in the northern part of New Zealand. Maybe we're in Auckland. Wow. We were in Auckland. That is another insane guess. <laughs> Uh, just a handful of football fields away, less than a mile. Incredible stuff. Um, and I thought we were in Canada. On to the next one. Oh, wait, that is the end. So I m got one, missed one. Now I've... I don't know. I'm going to have to recount where I'm at. I forgot. So we're going to go ahead and view the summary. Okay, so got China, got New Zealand, got Mexico. I don't know why that popped up. Okay. So the first round was Mexico, second round was Canada, and then China, Germany, and New Zealand. So that puts me at three in a row. Let's keep going. Okay. Well, definitely um, a little bit helpful with some, with some signage here. Too bad I have no idea about any of this. That is, 
That's an Isuzu truck. They're not very common in America. I haven't ever seen one in Canada. Lord, I cannot read what that says. Okay. Toyota. Okay, Subaru. We're, I, these are definitely Asian cars, so that makes me think we are somewhere in Asia. Because most of the cars are Asian. I can't tell about their license plates, though. Toyota, Subaru, Isuzu... And it looks like we're nearby a city. There and there. Now what does that say? Uh, for a second I thought that said United Kingdom. I still think it says Kingdom, but I'm not sure what the first word is. And I don't think it's United. And they're on the left side of the road. Which I guess in England they drive there on the left side. But that would also back up Japan. And it's, it's not... I haven't seen any Japanese writing, though. Everything has been... Uh, see, these are the type that'll really screw with you. Because you have a hunch that they're one, one place. And, th see, this looks kind of tropical. Is Japan's not even really close to the tropics. Ooh. Could we be in South America? I don't know how many, like... Okay. I don't know how many Asian cars... No, no, go back, go back, go back, go back. Cannot look at that sign. Why did that click? That's fucking annoying. Okay. Go back one more. And one more. I don't know why that clicked. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to zoom in right here. Barisan Nacional. See, that doesn't look Spanish. Could this be Brazil? I don't know. I don't know enough Portuguese. I don't know if you drive on the left or the right in Brazil. And then this sign, obviously I got a peek at it earlier, but I didn't read it because I'm not a cheater. My uh, computer is just slow, and it's also dying very quickly playing this game, but worth it. Um, I, I started off at 49% at the beginning of this video, quickly drained it by 30 I do not believe we're in Brazil. But that doesn't really narrow it down. Apologies, was sending a Snapchat. See, that looks like it's in English. Is that the United... That is the Union Jack. That is an American flag. That is another... How did I miss all of these? Is that... Oh, is this... That looks like a South American flag, and I can't place which one. Venezuela, maybe? Or Ecuador? Oh, dear. Okay. But we have an American flag and a Union Jack on the sign. So this is a British company. Um, there's definitely an American flag hanging up. But these don't look like American license plates. I think that's just coming from an American business. But I, I didn't... I know in America, when you have another business, you're supposed to um, hang it out. Now, is that... Is that Malaysian? Goodness me. Okay. 
Okay. That piece of signage looked Malaysian. It looked like the Malaysian flag. So I'm going to do a quick pass in Malaysia to see if I can find a place um, matching Melinda Loy or something. It you'd probably be nearby Kuala Lumpur, I would guess, if you were in... Because this is an urban world map. That would also put us in line with the Asian cars um, and driving on the left side of the road. So, I don't know though, that flag, that flag is definitely a South American flag, and I don't remember which country it is. It's between Ecuador and Venezuela, I think. Maybe Colombia? Oh dear, okay. I, I think we are in South America, but I don't know which parts of South America. Okay, well, wait. So... This would be very, very, very much near the tropic area. It's right there on the uh, equator. Let's see if we can see where the sun is. This looks like afternoon. Sun's kind of covered up, but it looks... Let's see. Which way are we facing? Okay, so facing due north, the sun looks like it's slightly to the left, which would mean which would mean it's in the west, meaning we are very close to the equator, but above it, which would match with maybe Malaysia. But would that also match with Colombia and Venezuela and Ecuador? Yes, it would. See, I haven't seen any Spanish writing, though. This does not make me think we're in, in South America because of the, there's, no, there's no Spanish. I need to just go with my gut here and go with Malaysia. And just call it a day. This is for four in a row. Wow. Wow. My goodness, we were in Kuala Lumpur. We were, I guess, up there. But we were right dead ass in the middle of Kuala Lumpur. Wow. That's four in a row, folks. I may have to plug in my computer. Let's keep going. That is the most I have ever gotten in a row at once. Oh, goodness. Yay. I'm going to plug in my computer. Bear with me. All right, so I have gotten my uh, my computer plugged back in, and that looks Spanish, but can't rule out Portuguese. Bienvenido is Spanish, right? I think I think we're in a Spanish speaking country. That looks like a Ford, an old timey Ford. That looks like a Chevy. Could we be in Mexico again?
I'm not sure. Raj, sorry. Modelo Light. Isn't Modelo a Mexican brand? I think it is. And Corona definitely... I, they definitely have a tie to Mexico if they're not a Mexican brand. So there's some mountainous regions out there. But that, that would put us in southern Mexico or maybe Guatemala. This seems, this seems rather calm for Guatemala. Are we in southern Mexico? Mexico is a lot like the United States, though. It's, you'd be hard-pressed to not find a flag if you were in an area like this. Let's look back this way one more time. See, tell is is something that I know is written in Mexico. They even had a they even have a cell phone service provider called Telmex. Cuz they always abbreviate it just TEL with a period. That tells me we're in Mexico. But you can never be certain. I just, ooh, Coca-Cola, that is, that, that sounds like we're in Mexico. I'm going to guess that we're in southern Mexico and see how we did. Okay, and we weren't in southern Mexico, but we were by some mountains in Mexico. So we were in... We were just south of Monterey. Okay. So, I think that puts us at five in a row. On to the next one. Divorce the fairway. Oh, okay. Fairway. Okay. So, that's fairway divorce. Okay. GMC... See, I was going to say that looked American, but that sign does not look American. This looks like a fairly American place, though. I just, I don't, I don't buy it. 7-Eleven. That is not something that you see in the United States very often, at least in the Midwest. Uh, which is where I live, and not very much in the South either, because that's where I've. Um, I'm from the Midwest. I, I live in the very northern part of the South right now. Um, but I don't think this is the U.S. because that sign is throwing me off. Could we? We're driving on the right side of the road, so. guy looks pretty white. His legs are like ghost-like. So, I'm going to zoom out or try. Concentra. Okay. And see, again, when you are in America... You'd be very hard-pressed to not see an American flag if you're in an urban area. That makes me doubt that we are in the United States even more than I already did. Um, man, if we could see how much gas is or, or how, they, how they describe it, whether it's gas or, or petrol... That would be helpful, but we can't.
I don't even know that we're in an English speaking country, do I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Of course. I'm an idiot. So what is that restaurant? I think that's a restaurant. I don't know. They are driving on the right side of the road. But is that sign... Say, is that just a sign saying that there's a median and that you have to turn right? That's not a sign I'm familiar with. The trees... They don't look terribly unfamiliar. But... Goodness, this has been... This is going to be the end, I think. Because I don't see anything that is helping me. And I feel like that would be a good clue right there, and I just can't see what it is. Oh, dear. Okay. Let's see, where's the sun? Sun looks like it's on the right behind that building. Although, to be fair, it is a cloudy day. The sun looks like it's coming from that way to me. Can we see any shadows? Yes, the sun is coming from that way. So, that means that the sun is in the east. So, this, is this a morning? Maybe? This doesn't look like evening to me. This looks like maybe a morning. So that should, I think, put us in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, out front is definitely... That's definitely a... Uh, a billboard advertising agency that I have heard of. That makes me think we're in the United States. Maybe in the New England area. Because I feel like 7-Elevens are more common up, like, in the northeast part of the United States. It's not a, not a region I generally go to. Not a big fan of the New England area, being from Indianapolis. You can imagine why. I'm going to guess that we're in the United States. I just don't have any clues to go on, and I'm going to guess that we're up here. Um, I'll put it in New York. I feel like we're up there somewhere. Not even close. We were in the middle of Saskatchewan, outside of Saskatoon. Well, in Saskatoon, I guess. Okay. Well, that was fun. That was fun. I um, I really wish I could have kept that going, but that was a lot of fun. And that's my best round I've ever had, so I can't really complain. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And, as always, have a great day.